in this video, we're going to walk through how to use Kami to create a hyper image that you can share with others. So we're starting out in Kami, and I'm actually going to begin with a new blank page. So I'm going to click on this one. I can say how many pages. If I want it to be blank, lined, grid, or a music sheet, I'm just going to start with blank, and I'm going to add. If you have a document that you want to start from, you can always open that document in Kami and begin from there. On the left hand side is our toolbar and this will allow me to maybe bring in a starting image. So I can add media. I can add things from Google Drive. I can even add things from YouTube if I have a video. Um, but I'm gonna grab a picture from my drive. And I can drag that picture and drop it into my document. And you can resize it if you need to. All right. So a hyper image just has this idea that we're going to create hot spots on the image that are going to be connected to other media to be able to maybe create a tour or to create a learning tool for others. And so this is a rock kind of stratigraph and it shows different layers of rocks and kind of I could go through and talk about like which of these are oldest and youngest. So there's a different couple different kinds of hotspots that I can create for this image. Um, and a lot of it are gonna use these kind of comment boxes that are over here. So I can start with just a straight text comment. And so I can click on this and have the opportunity to add a text comment. And so it creates this little spot and I can move this spot and I can change its color. So maybe I want that spot to be red so it shows up a little bit better. And then I can come over here and I can actually type the comment. So I can say like of the layers listed, layer one is the youngest. And I could go into maybe some more detail about law of superposition, whatever it is. And then I can finish that comment so that when people scroll over the image and find that hotspot, it'll highlight that comment. And then they can go and read that comment on the right hand side. I can add a voice comment. So if I go and I click on maybe part three, I'm going to click on this kind of dot. And then it starts recording right away. So as I click on that dot, it's recording this audio comment. So I can explain why number three is actually the youngest layer because it cuts across to layer one. So layer one had to exist before layer three could cut across it. When you're done with your audio comment, you stop the recording and you can preview it if you want to. You can come back to that hotspot. Maybe I want to make this one red as well so that it shows up. And you can move it around the image to wherever you think it's best located. So maybe we'll pop it right there. So then somebody else, so then somebody else that's navigating your image gets to this hotspot and when they click on it, it'll highlight, oh, it's this audio comment and they can listen and learn about section three on your image. The next type of comment that we're going to highlight is the video comment. So we can click on this video comment button and we can maybe click on this part four. As soon as you click on it, it's going to start to record your video. And so you can do your video explanation of what you want number four to say. So you can see here it's recording. And then when you're done with the comment, you can click done. So it's just going to be a webcam recording of your explanation. And you can go back to that spot. Maybe we want to make this one red as well so that they all match and you can move it around. And then it'll highlight this video goes with this comment. Cat spot. All right, the next one is our screen capture. And I'm already screen recording to create this video, so it might be a little bit different. But if I wanted to, maybe for section two, this igneous intrusion, create a screen capture either of me explaining this and they can actually see it as I explain it or maybe pop to a different um, window and create that screen capture. When you click on it, it'll pop up with, well, what screen do you want to record? And then you can share it. Again, mine's not gonna work because I already have 
a screen capture going, but another way to be able to create kind of a mini lesson within your hyper image. If you want to kind of show outside sources, so you could do a text comment that has a link to a website or a link to a tutorial or a link to a video, um, you can always text comment and then add in external sources that people can then go and learn more about that particular thing. Or maybe it's a learning path and it's an activity that they need to do next and an activity they need to do next as they work through those hotspots on your hyper image. So once you have your full image created and all your hotspots are in the correct location, um, you can share it with others. And so if you want to share the document, you can create anyone with the link is a viewer. Right. And then you would be able to copy that link and share it with others. Now, the important thing to know is that it has to be opened in Kami for these other kind of comments to be available. So, okay, another possibility is to download with all of the annotations. You can download it to maybe your Google Drive. You can give it a title and then you can decide like if you want all of your pages probably with the annotations and then you can export it to your Google Drive. Once that document exists in your Google Drive, you can share it using your Google Share settings, but to view the full set of annotations, they would have to open it in Kami to be able to view those comments. All right, so this is just one way to use Kami to create and share a hyper image.